Prepare the required tools. Power off the phone. Attach the TP process protective film. Use the eject pin to remove the SIM card tray. Use your left hand to hold the phone with its bottom facing up. Use the spudger to pry open the two corners of the rear cover. Loosen the snap fits on the edges. Separate the rear cover and turn it over to the right. Attach a piece of foam to the rear camera. Use plastic tweezers to remove the mylar from the fingerprint sensor on the rear cover. Open the keyboard clip of the fingerprint sensor FPC ZIF connector. Remove the fingerprint sensor FPC. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the nine screws from the PCBA. Remove the seven screws from the speaker. Use plastic tweezers to remove the mylar from the side button FPC ZIF connector. Remove the B2B connector steel sheet. Pry out the PCBA support at its top. Remove the PCBA support. Use plastic tweezers to pry out the speaker at its right side. Remove the speaker slowly. Use the B2B connector removal tool to loosen the battery B2B connector, LCD B2B connector, main FPC B2B connector, fingerprint sensor B2B connector, rear camera B2B connectors, front camera B2B connector. Then remove the cameras. Attach a piece of foam to the front camera. Open the keyboard clip of the side button ZIF connector. Remove the side button FPC. Use plastic tweezers to remove the coaxial cable. Use the plastic tweezers to slowly pry out the PCBA at its upper right corner. Loosen the snap fits on the PCBA. Then remove the PCBA. Scrape the thermal adhesive off the PCBA and front cover assembly. Use lint-free cloth dipped in alcohol to remove the residual adhesive. Apply around 140 milligrams of Gel 30 adhesive on the area within the white silkscreen frame as instructed. Check that the PCBA springs are intact. Align the PCBA with the locating pin on the upper left corner on the front cover assembly. Tilt and insert the left side of the PCBA in place and fasten the snap fit. Align the right side of the PCBA with the lower right corner of the front cover assembly. Press the PCBA in place and fasten the snap fits. Remove the foam from the front camera. Insert the front camera and rear camera and then fasten the front camera B2B connector. Rear camera B2B connector. Main FBC B2B connector. LCD FPC B2B connector, side button FPC ZIF connector, battery B2B connector, fingerprint sensor B2B connector. Fasten the new coaxial cable on the subboard and PCBA. Fit the coaxial cable in the groove. Align the speaker with the front cover assembly. Press its left side and then the right side to fasten all snap fits. Align the B2B connector steel sheets with the locating pins and install it in place. Align the screw holes on PCBA support with the front cover assembly. Press the PCBA support in place and fasten all snap fits on it. Tighten the 16 screws. Attach a warranty sticker to the specified screw. Attach a piece of water-resistant mylar to the side button FPC ZIF connector and B2B connector steel sheet. Remove the three screws from the PCBA. Remove the seven screw from the subboard. Remove the B2B connector steel sheet, speaker, and coaxial cable. Use the B2B connector removal tool to loosen the main FPC B2B connector on the subboard. Use plastic tweezers to pry out the subboard at its right side. Loosen the snap fit and then remove the subboard. Check that the springs on the subboard are intact. Tilt and insert the top of the subboard in the slot and fasten the snap fit. Align the bottom of the subboard with the locating pin. Press the button of the subboard in place and fasten the snap fit. Fasten the main FPC B2B connector on the subboard. Install the coaxial cable. 
Insert the left side of the speaker in place and fasten the snap fit. Press the right side of the speaker in place and fasten the snap fit. Install the B2B connector steel sheet. Tighten the three screws on the B2B connector steel sheet. Tighten the seven screws on the speaker. Attach a piece of mylar to the side button FPC ZIF connector and B2B connector steel sheet. Remove the coaxial cable, PCBA support, PCBA, speaker and USB subboard. Use metal tweezers to pry out the proximity light sensor subboard and remove it. Remove the adhesive from the slot. Take a new front cover assembly and remove the release film from the proximity light sensor subboard slot. Install the proximity light sensor subboard in place. Install the USB subboard, speaker, PCBA, PCBA supports and coaxial cable. Tighten screws on the front cover assembly. Remove the coaxial cable, PCBA support, PCBA, speaker and USB subboard. Tear tip 3 apart from tip 1 and tip 2 on the battery film and tear tips 1 and 2 from the battery. Ensure that the adhesive on tips 1 and 2 is not left on the battery. Hold tip 3 and pull up the battery slowly at a 75 degree angle. After two thirds of the battery is pulled out, use your hands to remove it completely. Remove battery film and adhesive from the battery compartment. Remove the residual adhesive. Ensure that the battery compartment is free of foreign objects. Attach a piece of adhesive to the battery compartment. Remove the release film from the adhesive. Insert the battery in place. Check that the roller is free of foreign objects. Roll the roller on the battery vertically for 6 to 10 seconds at least 3 times. Ensure that only the green part of the pressure indicator on the top is exposed. Do not roll the FPC area on the top of the battery to prevent damage caused by battery circuit. Install the PCBA, USB subboard, coaxial cable, PCBA support, speaker. Insert the fingerprint sensor FPC ZIF connector in the keyboard clip. Fasten the ZIF connector keyboard clip. Attach a piece of mylar to the fingerprint sensor ZIF connector. Remove the foam from the rear camera. Check that the rear camera and rear camera slot on the front cover assembly are free of foreign objects. Align the top of the rear cover with the front cover. Fasten all snap fits on the edges from top to bottom. Insert the SIM card tray in the phone. Check that the side button tactile feeling is normal and the phone can start up properly. This is the end of the video tutorial. Thanks for watching.